Vandeyam Shri Guru Shri Yata Padakam Lam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shri Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagaranaravanatam Bitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savanutam Paridina Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Rana Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shivishkam Bitam Shri Oma Gyana Timaranda Shri Ganajana Shlaka Shakshunu militam yena tasma shi gurabe namo Gurva bistam supurkam gurganara si shasambushitam Chintya chintya samastaveda nipanam shi rupa patanugam Govinda abidam ujwalam baratanum bhaktyan vidam sundaram Bande vishwa gurun shah deviat bhagavat prem noe bijapradam Devum deviatanum suchanda baranam balarka chelanshitam Sandra Nanda Puram Sadeka Varanam Vairagya Vidyambudim Sri Siddhanta Nidim Subhakti Lasitam Sarasatanam Baram Bandetam Shubaram Mareka Sharanam Nyashi Shvara Sridharam Vansha Kaupatarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyevacha Patitanam Pavinibhyo Vaishnabe Bhyonamonama Namo Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prima Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gaurata Vishenama We're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Translation and Commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada This is uh, Madhya Leela Chapter 23 Life's Ultimate Goal Discussing uh, we heard Sambandha Abhideya, and now we're hearing Prayojana, life's ultimate goal, Krishna Prayojana, Krishna Prema Prayojana. All right, so I'll start with verse number 38. Krishna Ratir Chine Koilun Bibaran, Krishna Prema Chine Ebi Shuna Sanatan. These are the symptoms of a person. These are the symptoms of a person who has developed attraction, bhava for Krishna. Now let me describe the symptoms of a person who is actually elevated to love of Krishna, O Sanatan. Please hear this from me. Jarachite Krishna Prema Kuraye Udoi Taravakya Kriya Mudra Vigyana Bujoi. Even the most learned man cannot understand the words activities and symptoms of a person situated in love of Godhead. Jnana sha, jnana shayam nava prema yashon milati chetasi antarvani bir apyasya mudra shushtu sa sudurgama Even a most learned scholar cannot understand the activities and symptoms of an exalted personality in whose heart love of Godhead has awakened. Evam vrata sva priya nama kirtya jatanu rago druta chitta uchai hasati ato rorati roti gayati Unmarvan nrityati lokabhayaha. When a person is actually advanced and takes pleasure in chanting the holy name of the Lord who is very dear to him, he is agitated and loudly chants the holy name. He also laughs, cries, becomes, becomes agitated and chants just like a madman not caring for outsiders. Prema krame bori hoi sneha ma mana pranoi raga nu raga baba maha baba hoi love of God it increases and is manifested as uh, affection counter love love attachment sub attachment ecstasy and sublime ecstasy so it's manifested. And these words are, as I said before, hard to translate. So it's given as affection, 
counter at love, love attachment, sub attachment, ecstasy, and sublime ecstasy, which is sneho mana pranoi raga anuraga baba mahababa hoy. Mahababa is uh, sublime, you know, the highest stage. Bijeku rasa guda tabe kandasar sharkaras. Sita Michari, Shuddha Michari are. The development is compared to sugarcane, sugarcane seeds, sugarcane plants, sugar sugarcane juice, molasses, crude sugar, refined sugar, sugar candy, and rock candy. Rock candy is crystallized, crystallized sugar. Iha jai che krami nirmala krami bhare sri svara rati prema dira tai che bhare ashvara. One should understand that just as the taste of sugar increases as it is gradually purified, so when love of Godhead increases from rati, which is compared to the beginning seed, its taste increases. So sugar becomes more and more sweet, and so uh, one should understand that just as the taste of sugar increases as it is gradually purified, so when love of God it increases from rati, which is compared to the beginning seed, its taste increases. Adikari bedi rati pancha parakar shandadasha sakya bhatsaya madhura ar. According to the candidate. Possessing of these transcendental qualities, sneho, mana, and so on. There are five transcendental mellows neutrality, servitorship, friendship, parental love, and conjugal love. In the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, rati attraction is thus described Vyaktam Mashrini Tevantar Lakshate Rati Lakshanam. Mumukshu Prabhriti Namas Ched Bhavad Esha Ratir Nahi Kintu Bala Chamatkar Koretas China Vikshaya Abhigaya Subodo Yam Rati Abasa Prakirtita The real the real symptoms of the fructification of the seed of love, rati, are manifested because the heart is melted. When such symptoms are found among speculators and fruit of actors, they cannot be accepted as real symptoms of attachment. Foolish people without knowledge of devotional service praise such symptoms of attachment even when they are based on something other than a desire to serve Krishna. However, one who is expert in devotional service calls such symptoms rati abash, a mere glimpse of attachment. E pancha stai bhava hoi pancha ras, jera se bhakta suki krishna hoi bas. There are five transcendent, the, these five transcendental mellows exist permanently. The, the devotee may be attracted to one of these mellows and thus he becomes happy. Krishna also becomes inclined towards such a devotee and comes under his control. In the Bhakti Rasam Rita Sindhu, Stai Bhava, permanent ecstasy, is thus described. Avirudan virudam scha bhavan yo vashatam nayam Surajeva virajeta sastai bhava uchate stai bhava trust sapra prokta shri krishna vishaya ratihi these moods bhavas bring under control the favorable ecstasies such as laughing and unfavorable ecstasies such as anger when these moods continue to remain as kings, they are called stai bhava, or permanent ecstasies. Continuous ecstatic love for Krishna is called permanent ecstasy. So, different, different 
These are all divine serving moods, they're all bhavas, they're all um, situ situation of the devotee in love of Godhead. Primadika stai bhava, samadri milane, krishna bhakti rasa rupe, pai pariname. When the permanent ecstasies, neutrality, servitorship, and a friendship, a parenthood, and conjugal love are when the permanent ecstasies are mixed with other ingredients devotional service in love of godhead is transformed and becomes composed of transcendental mellows In the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, the following definition is given. Atyaha Atyasya Keshava Rater Lakshitaya Nigadyate Samagri Pari Poshena Parama Rasa Rupata Vibhavar Anubhav Bhavaischa Satvikar Vyabhichari Vi Svadhyatvam riddhi bhaktanam anitash shravanadibhi esha krishna rati stai bhavo bhakti raso bhavet Love for Krishna Keshava as, previous, as previously described reaches the supreme state of being composed of mellows when its ingredients are purified. So this mellows we heard of servitorship, friendship, parental love, relation with the Lord as lovers. By means of vibhava, anubhava, sattvika, and vyabhichari, hearing and chanting are activated and the devotee is able to taste love for Krishna. Then attachment for Krishna or permanent ecstasy, stai bhava, becomes the mellow of devotional service, Bhakti Ras. So undoubtedly the science of understanding or hearing about Prema uh, Prayojana, the goal which is love, uh, achieving Krishna Prema, these, the, the descriptions of this are very advanced and they may not be so easily we may not comprehend that so easily. But here, we can hear based on the descriptions of Krishna Das, Kaviraj Goswami, Rupa Goswami, and others, what the symptoms of love of Godhead are. So, vibhava nubhava sattvika vyabhichari stai bhava rasahoi echari mili. Permanent ecstasy becomes a more and more tasteful transcendental mellow through the mixture of special ecstasy, subordinate ecstasy, natural ecstasy, and transit, transitory ecstasy. So again, those words, they were translated in this way. It's hard, it's hard to give a, 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 a translation because this is a different subject matter. It's a subject matter whose vocabulary doesn't exist in English. So it's saying, vibhava anubhava sattvika vyabhichari. These different kinds of ecstasies, they, const they make, they achieve, they result in permanent ex permanent ecstasy, stai bhava. They, this permanent ecstasy becomes a more and more tasteful, transcendental mellow, or taste through the mixture of this, vibhava anubhava sattvika vyabhichari which is translated as special ecstasy, subordinate ecstasy, natural ecstasy, and transitory ecstasy. So if I had to, de to d define what is, what is the meaning of these different ecstasies, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to say because they're defined here, special ecstasy, subordinate ecstasy, natural ecstasy, and transitory ecstasy and just try to understand the meaning of those words, special, subordinate, you know, subordinate, natural, transitory, but real words are vibhava, anubhava, sattvika, vyabhichari. 
Dadi Jaina Kanda Maricha Karpura Milane Rasa Lakya Rasa Hoy Apurva Svadane Yogurt mixed with sugar candy, black pepper, and camphor is very palatable and tasty. Similarly, when permanent ecstasy mix, mixes, when permanent ecstasy mixes with other ecstatic symptoms, it becomes unprecedentedly tasty. So these are just like various different tastes, which which combine to make uh, love of Godhead, you know, very attractive, very tasty. Actually, the meaning of rasa is taste. So, vivida vibhava alambana uripan vamsi svaradi uripana krishnadi alamban. There are two kinds of particular ecstasies, vibhava. One is called the support and the other is called the awakening. The vibration of Krishna's flute is an example of the awakening. And Lord Krishna himself is an example of the support. Anubhava, Smita, Nritya, Gitadi, Udbhava, Svars, Stambhadi, Sattvika, Anubhavera, Bitar. The subordinate ecstasies The subordinate ecstasies are smiling, dancing, and singing as well as different manifestations in the body. The natural ecstasies, such as being stunned, are considered among the subordinate ecstasies, Anubhava. Nirveda, Harshadi, Tetrisha, Vyabhichari, Sabamili, Rasahoy, Chamatkara, Kori, Chamatkara, Kari, there are different ingredients beginning with complete despondency and jubilation. Altogether, there are 33 varieties, and when these combine, the melva becomes very wonderful. Panchavira rasa shanta dasha sakya batsalya madhura nama shringara ras sabate prabhaya. There are five transcendental mellows neutrality, servitorship, friendship, parental affection, and conjugal love, which is also known as the mellow of sweetness. Conjugal love excels all the others. So especially Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is describing these to Sanatana Goswami, these different relationships with the Lord, the different um, different rasas. Sringara Ras here refers to conjugal love. Um, so especially why this is important? Well, we can understand that the, one can develop different relationships with the Lord, and in the stage of advan an advanced stage, one may be situated in one of these rasas with the Lord. Uh, but it's in especially, in especially, we worship Shishi Radha and Krishna. So, Radha and Krishna means the highest relationship is that of Madhura Ras, that of actually uh, Radharani's relationship with Krishna, it, that is supreme. And in no other sampradaya, Gaudiya Sam, no other Vaishnava sampradaya is the worship of Radha and Krishna happening so much, and nor do they necessarily, can they glimpse or or understand what is the relationship between Krishna and Radharani. So,
Shantarase Shanti, Shantarase Shanti Rati Prima Parjanta Hoy, Dasharati Raga Parjanta Krameta Barai. The position of neutrality increases up to the point where one can appreciate love of Godhead. So that Shantaras goes up to the point where one can appreciate what is love of Godhead. It's neutrality, but it goes all to appreciating love of Godhead. The mellow of servitorship gradually increases to the point of spontaneous love of Godhead. So then among as servitorship can increase up to spontaneous love of God. It's so we can see in servitorship there's first a relationship with Krishna of serving uh, serving with awe and respect as a superior, worshiping Krishna with awe and respect. But then it can come up to the level of here is mentioned spontaneous love of God where the factor or the quality of that great, like restraining respect, that diminishes. And it, it begins to approach this point of servitorship, but coming more towards the idea of friendship. And how does that show itself? Well, we can see that out, also by outward appearances because on the level of servitorship with respect, Someone may say, well, I can't taste what's, what I'm cooking. I can't taste because it's being offered to the Lord. So I don't have, I shouldn't taste it. But then you never know if you've cooked it properly. So on the level of servitorship with great on respect, and one will not taste. And I saw that that instruction was given to Devotees, especially when they first came, my Srila Prabhupada, you're cooking for the Lord, don't eat it, don't taste it. But then later, Govinda Mara said, well, how will you know if what you're cooked is done properly, if you've double salted something, if you've not put in sugar in the sweet rice, etc.? You should taste it. So then you can understand that there are levels of servitorship going from, here it says, Mellow of servitorship gradually increases to the point of spontaneous love of Godhead. But, but what that also means is like then the level of that forbidding respect, it's being diminished. The servitors of Krishna are establishing a more spontaneous relationship the, the servitors of Krishna. Sakya vatsoya rati pai anuraga sima subal subaladyar bhava parjanda primara mahima. After the mellow of servitorship, there are the mellows of friendship and parental love, which increase to subordinate spontaneous love. The greatness of the love found in friends like Subal extends to the standard of ecstatic love of God. So also, there are friends who are younger than Krishna, and they have, they have friendship with him, but they show respect, and that's also partly based on age. Then there are friends who are of the same age as Krishna, and they have a more intimate relationship as friends, and so, after the mellow of servitorship, there are the mellows of friendship and parental love, which increases to subordinate spontaneous love. The greatness of the love found in friends like Subal extends to the standard of ecstatic love of God. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur says that the mellow of neutrality increases to simple love of God. In the mellow of servitorship, love of God it increases beyond that to affection counter love, anger based on love, that can be like, that can be like um, little competitiveness is in there, some sense of, what's that? among friends you wouldn't use the word jealousy, but you could say a little bit 
Some competition in there. Counter love, anger based on love. Love and attach, love and attachment. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur says that the mellow of neutrality increases to simple love of God and the mellow of servitorship. Love of God it increases beyond that to affection, counter love, anger based on love, love and attachment. So you can understand that friendship, anger based on love. You can un think of it as a in a sports setting. That was fair. No, that wasn't fair. That's foul. Some argue. Tense are you? Uh, counter love, anger based on love, love and attachment. Similarly, the mellow of friendship increases to affection. Counter love, love, attachment, and sub attachment. It is the same with the mellow of parental affection. A special feature of the mellow of friendship exhibited by personalities like Subal is that it increases from fraternal affection to counter love to spontaneous attachment to subordinate attachment and finally to the ecstasy where all the ecstatic symptoms continuously exist. It's a very natural relationship. Santani Rasara Yoga Yoga Dui Ved Satya Vatsayi Yoga Dira Aneka Viveda there are two divisions of each of the five mellows, yoga, connection, and viyoga, separation. Among the mellows of friendship and parental affection, there are many divisions of connection and separation, service and separation. Ruda Adi Ruda Baba Kevala Madhure Mahishi Ganera Ruda Adi Ruda Gopika Nikare. Only in the conjugal mellow are there two ecstatic symptoms called Ruda, advanced and Adi Ruda, highly advanced. The advanced ecstasies are found among the queens of Dwork, and the highly advanced ecstasies are found among the gopis. We have the Lakshmis, then the Queens of Dwork, and then the highest will be in Vrindavan with the Gopis. Adiruda Mahabhava Dvita Pragar Sambhoge Madana Virahe Mohana Namatar. A highly advanced ecstasy is divided into two categories, Madan and Mohan. Meeting together is called Madan, and separation is called Mohana. Madane Chumba Nadi Hoy Ananda Vived, Udgurna Chitra Jalpa Mohane Dui Ved. On the Madan platform, uh, meeting is Madan, Mohan is separation. And Mohan means, also Mohan means some illusion. Some, like Krishna Mohan causes Krishna, Krishna Mohan. Uh, Krishna can cause that kind of sense of moha, Mohan, bewilderment. On the Madan platform, there are kissing and many other symptoms which are unlimited. In the Mohan stage, there are two divisions, Udgurna, unsteadiness, and Chitra Jalpa, varieties of mad emotional talks. Chitra Jalpa Radash Anga Prajal Prajalparinam Brahmara, Gitara, Dasha, Shloka, Tahate, Praman. Mad emotional talks include ten divisions called Prajalpa and other names. An example of this 
is the ten verses spoken by Srimati Radharani called the song to the bumblebee. So there are different levels of everything when we hear, for instance, Atyahara Prayasa Prayasas Cha Prajabhuniamagra. These are things that are listed as being uh unfavorable to devotional service and there is mentioned prajapa which is gossip or just talking nonsense but here we find there is a spiritual use of the word prajapa which is on a very high platform mad emotional talks include 10 divisions called prajapa and other other names an example of this is the ten verses spoken by Srimati Radharani called the song to the bumblebee. Imaginative mad talks known as Chitra Jopa can be divided into ten categories. Prajopa, Parijopa, Vijopa, Ujopa, Sanjopa, Vajopa, Abhijopa, Ajopa, Pratijopa, and Sujopa. There are no English equivalents for these different features of, of job uh, imaginative talks. And here is an example given Radharani's talk to a bumblebee. Now when, when Krishna was not li had left Vrindavan, he sent at one point Uddhava to visit Vrindavan. And Uddhava observed that the sense of great separation that Radharani had for Krishna when she began talking like a mad woman to a bumblebee. But if you, if you re hear or read what the conversation, what she was saying to the bumblebee, she was address, addressing the bumblebee, but what she was talking to the jump bumblebee as if that she was talking directly to Uddhava. But she's talking to a bumblebee. She calls the bumblebee. Uh, let's see. She refers to the bumblebee as... Uh, I forget the exact words, but like the, the, bad, the, un, uh, the bad messenger of an unfaithful master. <laughs> she's talking like this and and sometimes sometimes she's talking and she is actually criticizing Krishna to the bumblebee and then the bumblebee flies off for a little while and then she thinks oh then she thinks oh then Chris, then Krishna will be upset hearing these accusations so then when the bumblebee comes back she changes her tone well, actually, Krishna's very merciful, and he's doing it. And she's, one time she's blaspheming Krishna, and the next minute she's praising Krishna. And it's all going on to talking to the bumblebee, but the bumblebee is actually the servant, the un... un oh, it's uh, something like the... the something to the point of, a, like the... Uh, like the criticizing Buddha for being the servant of, of of Krishna, in effect, sometimes, and and then her conversation goes towards blaming Krishna and criticizing Krishna, and then sometimes she's afraid now the messenger has carried these, and now Krishna will be upset, and then she reverses. So all this is craziness when she's talking to a bumblebee. Uh, Udgorna Vishvasa Chaste Divyan Maranam Virohe Krishna Svur Svurti Apanake Krishna Gyan Udgorna and steadiness and Vivasa Chaste boastful activities are aspects of transcendental ma madness and separation from Krishna. One experiences the manifestation of Krishna, one thinks oneself to be Krishna. So sometimes the gopis are like this. They're so, in their madness, they're boasting, oh, I can defeat Krishna. These, you know, <laughs> or they're saying, uh, 
then they're acting as if they were Krishna. Like, but you know, we'll talk talk to like the Kali, the Kali, the what's his name, the 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 serpent was. Kaliya, you know, talking. Come here, Kaliya. I'll deal with you. And <laughs> sometimes they're boasting, and sometimes they're, sometimes, Udgurna and steadiness and Bishwasa chased of boastful activities are aspects of transcendental madness. In separation from Krishna, one experiences the manifestation in Krishna, as if Krishna is present. And and one thinks oneself to be Krishna, in there. Samboga vipralamba bede dvibida shringar sambogera nanta anga nahi antatar. In conjugal love, shringara, there are two de departments. Meeting and separation. On the platform of meeting, there are unlimited varieties that are beyond description. Vipralamba chatur vida purva ragaman prava shakya ara prema bich pai chitya apyan. Vipralamba has four divisions, Purva, Purva Rag, Mana, Pravasa, and Prema Vajitya. Vipralamba, separation, Purva Rag, previous meeting, Mana, Jela, all these are, and Radhika de Purva Rag, Prasida Pravasa Mane, Prema Vaichitya Sri, Dashane Mahishigane. Of the four kinds of separation, three, Purva Rag, Pravasa, and Mana, are celebrated in Srimati Radharani and the Gopis. In Dwarka among the queens, fillings of Prema Vaichitya are very prominent. So, there's Purva Rag, fillings before before meeting, proceeded. And Prema Vaichitya, then is very prominent among the queens of Dwarka. That's a sense of feeling some separation. Even when they're with Krishna, they feel the fear of separation from him. Kurari vilapasi tvam vita nidra nasheshe svapiti jagatir ratriyam ishvara gupta bodaha vayamiva saki kachid gara nirvira cheta nalina nayana hasodara lilekshitena. My dear friend Kurari. It is now night, and, and, and Sri Krishna is sleeping. You yourself are not asleep or resting, but are lamenting. Should I assume that you, like us, are affected by the smiling, liberal, playful glances of lotus-eyed Krishna? If so, your heart is simply pierced. Is that why you are showing these signs of sleepless lamentation? This verse from Srimad Bhagavatam was spoken by Lord Krishna's queens. Although they were with Krishna, they were still thinking of losing his company. It says, 
They're speaking to Kurari, female osprey. What is an osprey? It's a type, type of bird. Can you look up AOS osprey? O s p r e y. You have a you have a someone have a cell phone with them? No, tienes su celular? Sí. que es el significado de osprey? O O S P R A Y Águila pescadora. Ah. Águila pescadora. Águila pescadora es un pájaro pescador. Okay, so osprey is a, a bird. My my dear friend Kurari, mm -hmm. it is now night and Lord Sri Krishna is sleeping. You yourself are not asleep or resting, but are lamenting. Should I presume that you, like us, are affected by the smiling, liberal, playful glances of lotus-eyed Krishna? If so, your heart is deeply pierced. Is that why you are showing these signs of sleepless lamentation? So, sense of separation even when Krishna is present. Queens of Dwarka, Rajendra, Nandana, Krishna, Nayuka, Shiromani, Naikara Shiromani Radha Kurani, Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who appeared as the son of Nanda Maharaj, is the supreme hero in all dealings. Similarly, Srimati Radharani is the topmost heroine in all dealings. So, Lord Krishna is a hero, and Srimati Radharani, among the female counter female parts, she is uh, she is the supreme. Nayakana Shiro Ratnam Krishna's to Bhagavan Swayam Yatra Nityat Taya Sarve Virajande Mahagunaha Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God and he and he is the crown jewel of all heroes. In Krishna all transcendental good qualities are permanently situated. Devi Krishna Mai Prokta Radhika Paradevata Sarva Lakshmi Mai Sarva Kanti Samohini Para. The transcendental goddess Srimati Radharani is the direct counterpart of Lord Sri Krishna. She is the central figure for all the goddesses of fortune. She possesses all the attraction to attract the all-attractive personality of God. She is the primeval, internal potency of the Lord. Ananta Krishnera Guna Choshati Pradhan Eka Guna Shuni Junaya Bhaktagan So here it says, Transcendental Goddess Srimati Radharani his direct counterpart of Lord Sri Krishna. She is a central figure for all the goddesses of fortune. She possesses all the attraction to attract the all-attractive personality of God. And she is the primeval internal potency of the Lord. So the, the attractiveness and beauty of love of God can be seen in Srimati Radharani herself. She is that extreme beauty of love of God. Ananta Krishnara Guna Choshati Pranan Ek Ek Guna Shuni Judai Bhakta Khan The transcendental qualities of Lord Krishna are unlimited. Out of these, 64 are considered prominent. The, the, the ears of the devotees are satisfied simply by hearing all these qualities one after the other. Ayam neta su ramyanga sarva sa lakshan avita ruchiras tejasa yukto baliyan mayasan vitaha. Krishna 
Krishna, the supreme hero, has the most beautiful transcendental body. This body possesses all good features. It is radiant and very pleasing to the eyes. His body is powerful, strong, and youthful. Vividad Bhuta Bhashavit Satya Bhakya Priyam Varaha Vada Dukha Supandityo Budiman Pratiban Vitaha Krishna is the linguist of all wonderful languages. He is, he is truthful and he is a truthful and very pleasing speaker. He is expert in speaking, and he is a very wise, learned scholar and a genius. Vidagdas chaturo daksha kritagya sudrida vrata desha kalas supatragya shastra chakshu suchir vashi. Krishna is very expert in artistic enjoyment. He is highly cunning expert, grateful, and firmly determined in his vows. He knows how to deal according to time, person, and country. And he sees through the scriptures and authoritative books. In other words, his vision is through the scriptures and authoritative books. He is very clean and self-controlled. Stirodanta shama shilo gambiro dritiman samaha Varanyo Dharmika Shura Karuno Munya Manakrit Stiradanta Shamashilo Gambiro Ritiman Samaha Varanyo Dharmika Shura Karuno Munya Manakrit Lord Krishna is steady, his senses are controlled. And he is forgiving, grave, grave, and calm. He is forgiving, grave, and calm. He is also equal to all. Moreover, he is magnanimous, religious, chivalrous, and kind. He is always respectful to respectable people. Dakshino Vinayi Riman Sharana Vatapalakaha Suki Bhakta Surit Prema Vashya Sarva Shubhankaraha Krishna is very simple and liberal. He is humble and bashful and he is the protector of the surrendered souls. He is very happy and he is always the well-wisher of his devotees. He is all auspicious and he is submissive to love. Pratapi Kirtiman Rakta Loka Sadhu Samashrayaha Nari Gana Mano Hari Sarvaradya Samuridiman Krishna is very influential and famous and he is the object of attachment for everyone. He is the shelter of the good and the virtuous. He is attractive to the minds of women and he is worshipped by everyone. He is very, very rich. Pariyan Ishvara's Chaiti Gunas Tashanu Kirtitaha Samudra Eva Pancha Shad Dorvi Gada Hararami Krishna is the Supreme and he is always glorified as the Supreme Lord and Controller. Thus all the previously mentioned transcendental qualities are in him. The 50 qualities of the Supreme Personality of God have mentioned above are as deep as an ocean. In other words, they are difficult to fully comprehend. Jive Shvete Vasanto Pi Bindu Bindu Tayak Vachit Paripurna Taya Bhanti Tatraiva Purushottame. These qualities are sometimes very minutely exhibited in living beings, but they are fully manifested in the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Atopansha Guna Yeshur 
amshena girishadishu. Apart from these 50 qualities, there are five other qualities found in the Supreme Personality of God that are partially present in demigods like Shiva. So those general qualities that we heard, those 50 qualities, they're, they may be manifested in, 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 other, in living entities, but to a smaller degree, they're fully manifested in Krishna. But apart from these, there are some additional qualities. There are now five more qualities that not found in, in others, fully meant it, those are, but they are shown in, partially shown in Shiva, but fully shown in Krishna, but here. Atapancha guna yeshur amshena girishadishu. Apart from these 50 qualities, there are five more or five other qualities found in the Supreme Personality of God that are partially present in demigods like Shiva because we said there are 64 qualities found in Krishna. So we had heard 50, which may be partially manifest in other living beings. Now there's five more, that will be 55. These five qualities are sometimes found in a, in a certain degree in Lord Shiva. Sarasarupa samprapta sorvagyo nitya nutanaha sachiranada sandranga sarva siddhi nishevitaha atochante gunan guna at let me start again sarasarupa samprapta sarvagyo nitya Nutanaha Sachidananda Sandranga Sarvasiddhi Nishevitaha Ato Chante Guna Pancha Ye Lakshmi Sadi Vartinaha Avichindya Mahashakti Koti Brahmanda Vigraha Avataram Voli bijam hatari gati dayaka atmarama ganakarsh atmarama ganakarshiti ame krishne kilad bhutaha. These qualities are the Lord is always situated in his original position. He is omniscient. He is always fresh and youthful. He is a concentrated form of eternity, knowledge, and bliss, and he is a possessor of all mystic perfection. There are another five qualities which exist in the Vaikuntha planets in Narayan. Now, we heard five that were some in Shiva. Now, there are another five qualities in Krishna. First, we heard 50, then five more for Lord Shiva, now there's uh, five qualities that in, in Krishna, but they also may be shown in Narayan. Five qualities which exist in the Vaikuntha planets in Narayan, the, the Lord of Lakshmi. These qualities are also present in Krishna, but they are not present in demigods like Lord Shiva or in other living entities. These are one, the Lord possesses inconceivable supreme power. So Krishna has that, but Narayan, Narayan also has that. The Lord possesses inconceivable supreme power. He generates innumerable universes from his body. He is the original source of all incarnations. He bestows salvation upon enemies he kills, and he has the ability to attract exalted persons who are satisfied in themselves. Satisfied in themselves means they're atmaramas. They don't they don't want anything but still they're attracted to Krishna. They're attracted to Krishna, but that Atmarama means the even Atmarama souls, self sustained persons, sadhus, great personalities, they're also attracted to Lord Narayan. Although these qualities are present in Narayan, 
the dominating deity of the Vaikuntha planets, they are even more wonderfully present in Krishna. So now we heard 50 qualities and sometimes partially shown in the living entities. Five more qualities that are so shown in also uh, beyond the living entities. They can't show those five additional qualities that are unique. They may also be found in Shiva. So then 50 qualities in the living may some be partially present in some developed persons of the living entities, but all shown to an unlimited degree in Krishna, then five more qualities in Lord Shiva, then another five qualities that we heard that are in also in Lord Narayan. Lord possesses inconceivable power. Two, he generates innumerable universes from his body. Three, he is the original source of all incarnations. Four, he bestows salvation upon enemies he kills. And five, he has the ability to attract exalted personalities who are satisfied in themselves. Although these qualities are present in Narayan, the dominating deity, the Vaikuntha planets, they are even more wonderfully present in Krishna. So that now we're up to 60 qualities. Now there are There will be four qualities that are unique to Krishna. Uh, Sarvad, Bhuta, Chamatkara, Lila, Kalola, Var, Var, Varidi, Sarva, Sarvad, Bhuta, Chamatkara, Lila, Kalola, Vari, Varidi, Atuyam, Madhura, Prima, Mandita Priya Mandalaha Sri Jagan Manasakarshi Murali Kala Kujita Asam Manordva Rupa Sri Vishmar Pita Characharaha Apart from these 60 transcendental qualities, Krishna has an additional four transcendental qualities which are not manifested even in the personality of Narayan. These are, Krishna is like an ocean filled with waves of pastimes that develop wonder within everyone in the three worlds. So that's his Leela, his unique pastimes. Just Krishna has so many pastimes and it, he shows these pastimes. So, one, he, Krishna is like an ocean filled with waves of pastimes that evoke wonder within everyone in three worlds. Two, in his activities of conjugal love, he is always surrounded by his dear devotees who possess unequaled love for him. So then, this is a second quality unique in Krishna, conjugal love. He has his lovers. He, he shows this quality of conjugal love. You know, that you could say, well, Lord Narayan has Lakshmi, but that's his wife. Krishna, everyone is, everyone is attracted by Krishna, and Krishna has pastimes of, you know, love with, with, uh, on the level of Mathura Ras, which are not shown in other incarnations or anything. Three. He attracts the minds of all three worlds with the melodious vibration of his flute. So third thing is Krishna plays a flute. It's this unique flute playing. So you could say there's also a special quality. Krishna is a musician. <laughs> He's a flute player. Uh, he attracts the minds of all three worlds with a melodious vibration of his flute. And four, his personal beauty and opulence are beyond compare. His Krishna's overwhelming beauty. No one is equal to him and no one is greater than him. Thus the personality of God it astonishes all living entities, both moving and non-moving, within the three worlds. He is so beautiful that he's called Krishna. He attracts everyone. Lila Premna Prayadikyam Madhuryam 
venurupaya iti asad dar dharanam proktam govinda shachat chatushtayam evam gunas chatur vedas chat chatu shastir udaritaha above narayan krishna has four specific transcendental qualities his wonderful pastimes an abundance of wonderful associates who are very dear to him like the gopis his wonderful beauty and the wonderful vibration of his flute lord krishna is more exalted than ordinary living entities and demigods like lord shiva he is even more exalted than his personal expansion narayan and all the supreme personality of god it has 64 transcendental qualities in full hari haraya nama krishna jaravaya nama jaravaya manavaya keshavaya nama gopal govinda ram shri madhusudan giridari gopinatha maranamon shri chaitanya nichananda shri advaita chandra Ganadana Shiva Sadi Dora Makta Vrinda Jai Rupa Sanatam Bhakta Raguna Shri Jiva Gopala Bhakta Dasa Raguna Chai go sai ko di chana na banda Jai Jai Vigna na shamista pura Chai go sai jam hui chana samara pada renu mora pancha gana chare charana sevi bhakta sani ma chare charana sevi bhakta sani ma Janame more amila Hey Jai go sai Jai Jabe Braj Koilama Tasavar para reno mora panchagra Jai go sai jambe brache koila ba Radha Krishna nitya lila kori la prakash Anande bolo hari bhaja vrinda ma Pade manjai aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Koriya Harinam Sankar
Sapadikara Sishi Guru Guranga Gandharvika Giridari Joki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Bhakti Tilak Niyariya Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Bhakti Nirmala Chari Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Paramahansa Paravajaka Chari Asta Tara Sada Sishi Maharaj Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Gosai Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Paramahansa Paravajaka Chari Asta Asta Tara Sada Shishi Maharaj Shila Bhakti Raka Siddhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Shila Bhakti Sananda Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Gaur Ki Shordas Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Satchi Nanda Bhakti Ganav Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Vaishnava Sarva Bhama Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Ruba Nuga Guru Varga Ki Jai Namachari Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhakta Raghunashi Jiva Gopal Bhada Dasha Raghunashi Swami Prabhuji Jai Premsi Goshi Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadana Shri Vasri Shri Gora Bhakta Vrindiki Jai Jai Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai Jai Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhuji Jai Jai Vishwabharanya Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Srila Bhakti Kusha Mashra Maharaj Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Gopadhan Shyam Kuna Radha Kunda Kavindi Yamuna Juhu Ki Jai Sama Veda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Hari Nam Sagratan Ki Jai All the assembled devotees Ki Jai Gaur Brahmanande Hari Hari Bhav